Hi everyone, welcome back to Stella Rose Bella, where I talk about the latest Asian drama, music, and shows. Today, I will give you four reasons why you should watch Love is Sweet. Ban shi mi tang, ban shi shang. The name of that drama. Um, the drama has been airing for 24 episodes already, which I watched all 24 of them. So I can give you a gist and sort of like my own like sort of like review and like reasons to watch this drama. So let's get to it. So who is in this drama? Bai Lu and Lu Yunxi are the main leads in this drama. Um, and there are other people, but I want to focus on them. <laughs> And uh, what is this drama about? So Lo Yunxi's character, um, this actually this backdrop, this whole story takes place in a sort of like finance or like marketing type of company. Um, deals with basically finance and stuff and all these business type of things called MH. So if you have watched the trailer before this drama went live, um, you can get the vibe that you get is this company is very competitive and very intense. And um, the music really plays a part into that as well. But uh, Lo Yunxi's character, he is sort of like, I guess like in a sense, he's sort of like high up there, like a managerial type or even higher. Um, his occupation like level and uh, Bailu's character she goes in actually as a newbie um, but um, Luenxi's character his name is Ren Shai and Bailu's character is Jiang Jun and these two characters they have known each other since they were in elementary school and high school and then um, Luenxi's character moved so they haven't been in contact for a very, very long time. And they meet up again uh, when Bailu's character goes to interview for this job um, at his company. Lo Yunxi's character actually had, has a crush on Bailu's character. So they haven't seen each other for a very long time and they meet up again in th this company. She went through the interview process. She made it to like the fourth round. Loin she didn't give her a pass on the final round sort of. And sh he just told her straight up that you do not fit this company. It's very intense. It's competitive and everything. This whole environment, it's not a right fit for you. And um, yeah, so you shouldn't be in this company. Sort of. So one of the reasons why you should watch this drama is because of the chemistry between Bailu and Lo Yunxin's character. It's so good. So, you know, since both of the characters, they've known each other for a very, very long time. And I don't know how they do it. It's like, you know, when you are working for the first time together, it takes time for, you know, you to have that chemistry and that vibe to sort of show on screen that you two have known each other for a very, very long time. They did that. Their chemistry, you, oh, on screen, it's just like, you can see it, you can feel it. It's just they have that type of chemistry within them. And I think like it's refreshing to see Bailu paired with sort of working together with another uh, actor because I've seen her work before. Um, she has worked with Shukai a lot. I'm not complaining about that. I love Shukai, but I feel like it'll be great, you know, to pair them off with someone else you know? And um, also, this is my first time actually seeing Bailu and Lu Yunxi in a contemporary drama because I've been watching a lot of historical dramas and they've also been in them. So it's really refreshing for me to see um, Lu Yunxi in contemporary. Oh my god! He looks so fine in that suit. I'm just like, oh my god, it's, he's so cute and handsome. So amazing. And Bailu, oh, so awesome. But, um, <laughs> so they both, the chemistry, I feel like their characters in all the contemporary dramas that I've watched so far, um, their characters' relationship, I have to say, it's one of more of the normal types. Um, yeah, it's more normal and more mature. I have to say, compared to the other contemporary dramas that I watch. Because I have watched like campus, like student life type of contemporary like relationship. I've seen um, like CEO and like secretary and like stuff like that. And the thing is that the dramas that I watch for contemporary ones, they don't really go into much of like 
the actual work that the character does as much. They do, but not as much as I want them to. Um, I feel like there has to be a balance. I feel like this drama does that very well in terms of like they have different like clients that they have to, you know, help out with and everything. They did that very well and they handled it very well. So you learn something new. Um, such as someone can be allergic to tears. So Bailu's character, she is allergic to tears when she cries. She will have an immediate reaction where she can't breathe and she faints and her cheeks become like pinkish. And um, I thought this was a made up thing. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was like a fake you know, uh, illness. And I looked up and, and it's actually true. It's, I'm not sure it's like it's the same as the one that Bailu's character has, but when I typed in like allergic to tears, um, it's called aquagenic eutrichiaria. I don't know how to read it, but that's uh, the name of it. Um, yeah, some people are allergic to tears, to water. Um, they um, so they can't swim and stuff like that. Um, so that is something I learned from this drama. Um, and, and I feel really like, you know, you express your emotions and to let it all out. And for Bailu's character to see her that she has to, she's allergic to it and she has an allergic reaction to it. That is, I don't know how, I just, you know, I, I feel bad for her. Another reason why you should check out this drama. The cinematography! Oh, it's so beautifully done. Okay, if you watch historical dramas and modern, like, contemporary dramas, the historical ones, obviously, the color and the CGI effects and everything like that, but in contemporary ones, ooh, I don't know, like, the way they shot it and also the color and, like, just the vibe they get, it's so beautifully done. I... It's just, oh, I have to clip all these, like, different scenes, but it's so, so beautiful. Like, the contemporary ones, I've watched a couple, and, like, there's this, like, white layer that they add into it, and the colors really look really, to me, it looks really weird. Um, but this one, ooh, it's like you're watching a movie, and, like, you're in theater, and there's this vibe, and it's, like, oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I feel like this is one of the dramas that, I, like, where... Is shot so beautifully and like the colors and everything and and for me it's like a movie type of vibe. Congrats to the editor. And the last reason why you should watch this drama. So the vibe at MH, the company that Bailu's character and Luigi's character work at. I'm not gonna lie, I sort of like that environment but I don't really at the same time. I do because in some sense, it's like very competitive, it's very intense, and I know sometimes you have that motivation, it's like, oh, I have to work harder and everything, you know? Um, obviously, I'm not a competitive person, and I don't like intensive, I don't know, it's just like a half and half vibe to it. But I feel like because of the competitiveness in the company, it sort of makes the drama a little bit more exciting um, for me, I feel like. Um, obviously, there are some people the client, uh, the colleagues that Bailu work with, um, I don't like them. And some of them are very mean and just like really like sneaky and like uh, two-faced people. Um, there are people like that in the drama. But obviously the sweet little couple scenes are always the best. Um, but this drama, if you know the English letter, is like half Mi Tang half shang so half like honey sort of like the sweetness of it and half shang is like hurt like pain what i'm seeing so far it's a lot of like sweet you know coupley scenes in the beginning sort of i feel like what's gonna come up soon it's going to be really painful scenes maybe the storyline um because you later find out that Bailu's dad he was actually in like doing a restaurant business and stuff and i guess like someone from mh um did some business deal or something and then just messed up his like restaurant business and he lost his money and stuff like that so business failed her mom is really sort of like she finds out that Bailu works at that company and Lo Yunxi's character is actually, you know, um, works at that company as well. And she doesn't want her daughter to work there because, you know, that company, MH, basically sort of like 
ruined her dad's life. So I believe that the following these couple like episodes, we will see a change in Bailu's character because I saw in an interview that Bailu said that her character will become sort of like the general manager or like she will have a higher position in the drama. Um, I think her motivation for that will probably be because of what happened to her dad and maybe she finds out who made that entire mess. Um, I don't know how Lo Yunxi and Bai Lu's character, how it will affect their relationship. Um, but as you watch dramas before, you know that in the beginning when it's so much sweet, you know, at the end, it's gonna be really bitter and then maybe sweet again. Um, so it seems like that's the vibe, like sort of like the graph that goes in how the storyline develops. Um, yeah, so that is what I have so far and the reasons why you should watch this drama. Um, I feel like the storyline works very well. Um, the sweetness of it is really, really cute. Um, and I'm really happy that they finally are together, the two characters, and like they finally confess their feelings to each other and they're together. Um, so I've been waiting for that for so, so long. Um, so yeah. Um, I will see how this drama will go, how the storyline will go, um, but so far that is what I have so far for this drama. There's a corgi! The dog is a corgi, dude! Okay, what's not to love about corgi? They're so, so cute! Anyways, uh, let me know what you think of this drama so, so far. What do you think of Lo Yunxi's characters? What do you think of Bailu's character and everyone that's in it? Um, and what do you think of the story in general? And what is your favorite scene from this drama? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!